here we are. The 12 year old in me isn't going to let me pass this up because the world of politics and flatulence <laughs> has collided in a way that um, none of us expected. Chris, so far, the evidence is uncontradicted that the president used taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help him cheat an election. And <laughs> The clip that I just played for you, I wanted to play the off-screen version because I thought that the laughter in it was incredibly contagious. But to show you that that wasn't someone who was recording the screen who added that in, here's an actual clip of that segment in question. Taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help them cheat an election. Cheat, 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 cheat an election. And the complaint that I've heard from Republicans... I want to watch it one more time. Heard from Republicans taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help them cheat in election. <laughs> <And> the... <laughs> I've heard from Republicans taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help them cheat in election. And the complaint that I've heard. The quality of the humanist report has gone downhill over the years, and this kind of just is like the lowest point in the show's history. But I will say, at first, I thought that it was Chris Matthews, but now I'm pretty certain that it's Eric Swalwell who did it, because, like, he pauses, the fart is let out, and then he continues talking. Like, if you look at the way... ...taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help them cheat an election... Yeah, like he like pushes, right? So it's him. Gotcha, bitch. It's him. He's the one who did it. Look, if he was still in the race, I might consider switching from Bernie Sanders to him just because of this. But um, <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> now, look. To be serious, there is a more substantive reason why I'm choosing to talk about this. You know, it's not just for the laughs. You know, I think that this speaks to a broader issue with the mainstream media and the state of 2020 politics. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's no substantive reason to talk about this. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. I can't believe that that happened. This is such a pointless segment. Um... But I mean, like, I feel like something like this can only happen in 2019 America, right? <laughs> if it was Chris Matthews, though, although I'm pretty certain that it was Eric Swalwell, I hope that there's like a petition for him to get fired from MSNBC because of this, because that would be hilarious if cancel culture led to that. But I'm, I'm pretty sure, like I said, it's Eric Swalwell, because that little liftoff that he did there, like, you can't let out a fart that big without, like pushing it out but without there being like some type of physical movement and i think that we saw that so i'm pretty certain that it's eric swalwell although again not 100 percent sure but just like looking at his facial reaction you could see like a little bit of a smirk before it came and then after it came as well i think he's the one who's guilty um this could have propelled its campaign if he just stayed in the race a little bit longer because i think there's a lot of people who uh, would have voted for him because in America, we love voting for assholes and to actually literally hear one on national television, I think that would have persuaded quite a bit of voters. So, you know, I don't I don't really know that there's much else to say about this segment. I'm not going to lie. I am a little bit ashamed of myself for talking about this. But regardless, you know, um, yeah, this is Fartgate 2019. This will definitely be one of the most memorable moments of uh, the year for sure, perhaps of um you know this entire political era so yeah this is where we're at the humanist report is now covering farts we'll try to do better i promise Beta male.